and welcome to It's Storytime Kids! Hi! Today we're going to read Harry McClary's Show Business by Linley Dodd. Harry McClary's Show Business by Linley Dodd. In Riverside Hall, on Cabbage Tree Row, the Cat Club were having their annual show. There were fat cats and thin cats, tabbies and greys, kick up a din cats with boisterous ways. Cooped up in cages, they practiced their wails while their owners fussed over their teeth and their tails. Out in the street, tied to a tree, Harry McClary was trying to see. He struggled and squirmed, he unraveled the knot, and dragging his lead, he was off at the trot. He bounced up the steps, he pounced through the door, he pricked up his ears and he pranced round the floor, flapping and flustering, bothering, blustering, leaving behind him a hiss and a roar. <laughs> cried the president. Collar him quick! But Harry McClary was slippery slick. He slid under tables. He jumped over chairs. That says judge, judge. They're the judges' chairs at the cat show. He skittered through legs. And he sped down the stairs. <laughs> In and out doorways, through banners and flags. Tangled, tangling together belongings and bags. What a mess he's made. What a kerfuffle. Along came Miss Plum with a big silver cup. Got him, she said, and she sniffled him up. Got him, she said, as she snuffled him up. Goodness, it's always Miss Plum, isn't it, kids? <laughs> Miss Plum saves the day again. Preening and purring, the prize winners sat with their rosettes and cups on the prize winner's mat. That says biggest family, lots of kittens. That says worst temper. Oh, is that Scarface Claw? I think it is, kids. Scarface Claw won worst temper. Longest whiskers is this one here. And that says snootiest. The snootiest cat. And who won the prize for the scruffiest cat? Hmm, scruffiest isn't there. It's here! <laughs> scruffiest! Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. But he's not even a cat. He's a dog. Goodness! 
That Harry McClary, he does get into some situations, doesn't he, kids? That was Harry McClary's Show Business by Linley Dodd. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.